morning. Welcome to Choose Life. Um, I am Pastor Gina Coleman, as most of you know by now. I apologize for the late post. Maybe you can tell <laughs> from the sound of my voice. I was extremely tired and I was not able to record a video, so I figured I would make a late post instead of no post at all. So here I am with another devotional from Mornings with the Holy Spirit by Jennifer LeClaire. So I'm going to go ahead and pray and get right into the message. Father, we love you and we honor you, Lord God. We praise you and magnify you this morning. And God, thank you for your strength. And thank you for your love and your help, Lord God, that you give unto us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for the peace of God. I thank you, God, for your mercy and your kindness towards each one of us, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you cause us to rest at times that, you know, when we're so busy doing things, I thank you that you cause us to rest. And I pray, God, that if anyone's watching this video and they've overworked themselves and they are tired, I ask God that you would lead them to rest, that you would cause them to rest some days, that they would be able to sleep in, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, so I thank you for the strength to get up to make this video. And um, I pray, Lord God, that it would minister to me and your people in the name of the Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, I commit this time and this video into your hands. And I ask for leading and direction and guidance this morning. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you all. All right, let's see what's saying over here this morning. Okay, <clears throat> on June 19th it says, Meet me in the secret place. Will you meet me in the secret place? It's just under the shadow of his wings. There you will find your fortress, your strong tower. It is a safe place where you are shielded from the warfare that tries to distract you from the beating of my heart and the words that I will speak to you. Will you meet me in the dwelling place? I'm waiting for you there to share wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus. Just close your eyes and ask me to take you there now where I am and you will be, where I am, you will be, I am waiting or I'm waiting. Well, at this moment, we can't ask the Holy Spirit to take us there because we're listening to the, uh, the, the teaching, but um, we must make time to, to be with the Lord. Our life is in the Lord. Our revelation is in the Lord. Our refreshing is in the Lord. And we must make time. And, you know, sometimes we get so busy in life that we um, give God a limited time. But perhaps if we can start looking at the Lord as our lifeline, which he is, right? He really is. And that we need to get into his presence to keep going to the next day, keep going to the next minute and even the next hour we need to be refreshed. We need to be restored and revived. And we need to hear his voice for um, understanding and direction. And we need to be with the Lord so he can explain some things to us, which is, you know, giving us revelation on a few things. So God wants us to be in his dwelling place. He wants us to be in the secret place. Because in the secret place, he's, he shares secrets. He answered our questions and um, he loves on us so we must make the time to spend with him and anything what well, let me just say this I know that we have things to do people have to go to work and various things right spouses and children uh, just businesses things that we have to do but sometimes those very things that we have to do still our time with the Lord so I find that when I schedule and plan out some things to do, the things that I need to do, my life is more productive. Like my time with the Lord early in the morning, and then I plan out the rest of the day. Well, let me just say this for me. If I get up past really 6 o'clock, my day is thrown off. So if I don't spend the time 
in the presence of the Lord, in the secret place, my time is thrown off. Actually, I feel like my emotions are thrown off. I feel as if my body is thrown off. So, I mean, I'm not sure if that'll help any of you, but that's my time in the secret place. And I know that, you, or I believe, or I hope that you all have your own time in the secret place with the Lord, a time of praise, a time of worship, a time of listening, a time of pouring out your complaint or your heart onto the Lord. But we must have a time that we spend with the Lord. So um, I just want to encourage you in that this morning to make sure you have time because the enemy wants to make sure we do not have time. And what he does is sometimes he disguises um some things as being supremely important when they're really not supremely important. Um, meaning like we have to do something. Um, really, what we have to do is really spend time with the Lord because he'll give us the strength to do those other things that we have to do or that we believe that we have to do. So just know that you and I must spend time with the Lord in the secret place, our strong tower, our helper, our healer. It's such peace in the presence of the Lord. And I know that you all know that, but he doesn't just want to give us peace. He wants to give us answers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the message, the Lord speaks to us and he said that he, well, one, he questions us and he asks us, will we uh, meet him there? And then he also um, says that to us that he's waiting for us. So let's not uh, disappoint the Lord. Well, not disappoint him because he knows all things, but let's make sure we're having our time with the Lord and we're loving on him and ministering to him and receiving from him. All right. So I'm going to read the first scripture, which we all know. It's a very, very familiar scripture. Um, actually, let me say this. I'm not going to read the first scripture because it's Psalms 91. And I'm going to give you an opportunity to read Psalms 91 when you have time because it's a long scripture. And, uh, well, you know what? Let me give it a try. I mean, I can read. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> let me give it a try. Um, I usually don't like to read really long scriptures. Um, yeah. How about this? Let me just read a portion of it, um, and if I feel led to go on, I will. And I'm going to read it in the NLT version. It says, Those who live <coughs> in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. So there's benefits for dwelling in the shelter of the Most High God, and one of the benefits is rest. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and in him I trust. So we see it so far that the Lord is our refuge and he is our place of safety. And therefore we need to dwell. We need to live in his presence, live in the secret place. For he will rescue you, me, from every trap and protect us from deadly disease. So it's benefits at spending time with the Lord because he can tell us, don't go this way. Don't touch that. Stay home be, uh, because he wants the best for us. It also another benefit is that he will cover you with his feathers, you know, like a bird covers their uh, baby birds from the wind and various things that happen <laughs> and from other preys, uh, predators rather, from predators coming up against them, right? Um, he says he is faithful. He's, his faithful promises. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. So that which God has promised us is protection from frustration, anger, the attack of the enemy. He promised to protect us. He promised to provide for us. He promised to never leave us or forsake us. And so all of those things are protection. Amen. It says, do not be afraid of the terrors by night, nor the arrows that fly by day. Why? Because we're in the secret place. We're in the presence of the Lord. We're protected by God. So we have no need to fear. It said, do not, do not dread the diseases that start in darkness, nor the disasters that strikes at midday. We have no 
reason to fear COVID. No matter, it doesn't matter how many people it touched. God doesn't want us to fear it. Glory to God. Though a thousand fall at your side and 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Say that these evils will not touch me. It doesn't matter what what is um, happening in your family generational line, how much sickness and disease has come upon the family through the generation. It doesn't have to touch you. You and I have to have faith. It doesn't have to touch me. We don't have to say, well, my auntie, my mama, my daddy had this and had that. And we, we don't, it doesn't have to touch us. And actually, I believe the Lord is looking for someone to have enough faith to say, okay, it touched them, but it will not touch me. It will not even skip a generation. It will be cut off in the generation. Amen. It says, just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If, if, this is what it says, if you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the most high your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. So it's a if, it's, con it's contingent upon us obeying and making the Lord our shelter. When we step out of the Lord, excuse me, and do our own thing, we, you know, we open ourselves up to the evils to come up against us. But we're not going to do that. We're going to make the Lord our dwelling place, our shelter, our home, our place of refuge, our place of safety. We're not, there's no other safety anywhere else. We already know that we cannot find safety anywhere else. Not the safety that the Lord has. Amen. It says, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Hallelujah. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. These are the attacks of the enemy. The attacks of the enemy. You will and you and I will crush them under our feet. Glory to God. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. So this is a promise and a benefit from dwelling in the secret place, having a relationship with God. I will protect those who trust in my name. That's, these are promises. He's going to rescue us and he's going to protect those of us who trust in his name and trust in his character, trust in his strength, trust in his ability. Hallelujah. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. Trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. <coughs> Excuse me. So as, as I said to you, um, there are benefits in dwelling in the secret place of the Most High God. And for sure, every last one of those benefits we need. <coughs> Here we go. I bind up every demon that attacks me when it's time to preach the word of God or speak the word of God in the name of Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and get into the next scripture, which is Psalms 90 and 1. Psalms 90 verse 1. I had to get some word of y'all. I'm also going to continue to read out of the NLT version. It says, the Lord through all the generations, <clears throat> you have, Lord, through all the generations, you have been my home. So the Lord wants us to recognize and even declare that he is our home. He And what's in our home? There's peace in our home. There's safety in our home. There's love in our home. There's provision in our home. And all of the, these things are in the Lord, but we need to be in his presence to get them. Answers in our home. Relationship is in our home. I'm just thinking about various things that's in our home or should be in our home. Rest is in our home. Everything that we need should be in our home. And I'm, I'm talking about <clears throat> in a perfect world, right? Because in, in, in the world that we live in, not everyone has everything in their home. But from the view of what God is trying to say unto us, everything we need is in His presence. And so that's why we need to, hallelujah, come into his presence so that he can bless us with those things. But he wants us to dwell there, not visit. Like, And I believe what that means is like all day throughout the day, converse with the Lord all day throughout the day. Depend upon the Lord. When our back's up against the wall, depend upon the Lord. And, and we, we may not... Well, we cannot all the time escape a way to be with the Lord, but we can escape in our heart 
to be with the Lord. Hannah prayed in her heart unto the Lord and the Lord answered the prayers. So I'm saying that not all the time we will always be able to have a specific time. Well, no, wait, let me back up. We will be able to have, we should have a specific time to be with the Lord, but not always will be, will we be able to go um, to talk to the Lord throughout the day. You know what I mean? Like I can't go into my prayer closet <laughs> or throughout the day, but I could talk to him in my heart. All right. I hope I didn't mess you all up with that. All right. So the next scripture is Psalm 61 and three, but I'm going to read one through three. It says, <clears throat> it's still in our T. It says, Oh God, listen to my cry. Hear my prayer. From the ends of the earth, I cry to you for help when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the towering rock of safety. For in you, for you are my safe refuge where my enemies cannot reach me. Let me just read three again. For you are my safe refuge and fortress. <laughs> For you are my safe refuge, a fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. So there's benefits in the presence of the Lord. We, there's safety there. Even like um, it talks about when our heart being overwhelmed, and that's not our physical heart. It's our emotions and mind. It's being overwhelmed. And you know, at times we're just overwhelmed. It's, it's just so much coming up against us or it seems like so much is coming against us. And God wants us to come to him so he can settle um, upon us with his peace, settle upon us with his love. And he wants us to have assurance in him. But it, we're not going to have assurance in him if we're not reading as much as we should, if we're not praying as we should, and we're not making time to be with the Lord. So I just want to encourage you this morning, let us all meet the Lord in the secret place in the morning our set time that we have with him throughout the day and then set another time to be with him um, at night if you can. Even if it's five or ten minutes, let's make it our business uh, to set time to be with the Lord because we need him. We absolutely need him. All right. He is our safe place for where the enemy cannot reach us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he commands angels to be with us and to go with us. Right. So I'm going to read the prayer. It says, you are my strong tower. You are my fortress. You are my dwelling place. You are my protection from the enemy. Draw me into your presence. Draw me closer to your heart and I will incline my ear to hear the words of life that will strengthen me. So Father, I thank you this morning, Lord God, in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, I bless you and I magnify you. I adore you, Lord God. We all adore you this morning. We all give you praise and thanks, God. We thank you for the invitation, God, to dwell in your secret place, to meet you in the secret place. And I pray, Father God, that none of us would neglect the invitation to come and to be with you, Father, mighty King, everlasting Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that in your presence we find peace and safety and protection from the enemy, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you in the the secret place, Lord God, you command your angels to go and to be with us and to protect us, Father. We thank you that you are our provision. You provide for us in the secret place. You heal us in the secret place. You speak to us. You converse with us, Lord God. You release secrets and things unto us in the secret place, Lord God. May we never neglect the secret place in the name and through the blood of the Lord Jesus. We ask all these things. Amen. <clears throat> so God bless you. Um, once again, I apologize for the late post, but I figured better late than never. So I'll see you again tomorrow for a new video. So God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget to go into the secret place in your car, in the shower. Um, when you're in a room full of people, you can escape to get into the secret place, place of the Lord. So God bless you. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe and choose life. Oh.